Well, hello, darlings. Here's the deal. I took a shower and I used every bit of my homemade um, wonderful, wonderful body scrub. And so I'm going to make some more for myself this morning. And I thought as long as I'm doing that, I may as well film it and show you all how I do it. So let's get started. So here's what you'll need to make my version of a wonderful bath scrub. I have two cups of sugar here. I have a big bowl for mixing and a nice wooden spoon. You can use any kind of spoon, but I like to mix with wooden spoons. I have one cup of, uh, this is um, coconut oil, but you can really use any kind of oil. We'll talk about that later. I've got some vitamin E oil, which is wonderful stuff. You can use any fragrance. I've chosen to use eucalyptus, which I like. It's invigorating. And if you choose, you can use some um, food coloring. And I like to keep a pretty jar in the shower for my bath scrub. So you can put it in any kind of jar you'd like. So here we go. I've got my two cups of sugar. I'm going to pour that in the mixing bowl. And my one cup of oil, in this case coconut oil, and I think I forgot to mention you'll need a tablespoon, but I'm going to use about a tablespoon of my vitamin E oil, which is good stuff. It's really, really good for your skin. So is coconut oil. Most oils actually are good for your skin. So there is a tablespoon. and my eucalyptus um, essential oil. I'm going to use, oh, probably about 20 drops. You, that's a pretty good um, amount for a significant um, aroma. So I didn't really count, but that's about how much I usually use, about 20 drops, I think. And, ooh, that smells so good, so refreshing. And I've got some green um, food coloring. I'm going to put maybe six drops one two three four I'm gonna go with five five drops and then you stir it like a mad woman everything get mixed up gets mixed up beautifully so you all that nice green color is starting to happen I gotta figure out how to do overhead um, shooting like so many crafters do, but you need some sort of rod to uh, extend your camera overhead, and I just don't have that yet. Sooner or later I'll get it, but look how beautiful that's coming already. By the way, I made a cake last night, and I wanted to share a tip as far as how to put frosting on a tape. Uh, on a cake. I'm not sure where I learned this, but I've done it for years. And what I do is I take a butter knife and I get a cup of warm water and I dip the butter knife into the warm water and then into the frosting. And oh my gosh, it makes it so much easier. It doesn't clump up. It doesn't pull the cake all to heck. And um, anyway, that's a tip I thought I'd like to share. So, <clears throat> ta-da, look how beautiful. Almost done. So, now all you got to do is put it in your beautiful jar, or any jar. I already decorated this. I decorated this some time ago, but I keep using it over and over again. I just put some green beads with a very fine uh, twine attached that attaches them to the jar, um, just to make it look a little extra pretty. Now, I know... <coughs> I'm going to get impatient. I'm going to wind up using my hands to fill this jar, I bet. Maybe not. So <clears throat> my hands are clean. I did wash them. And uh, this is enough. The two cups of sugar and the one cup of oil <clears throat> is enough to fill a jar this size, which I'm sure is more than a pint, maybe two pints. Um, I did want to share about the oils. Coconut oil stays in a solid condition uh, if it's um, under 75 degrees. 
So you do have to melt it first, unless you're living in a very warm climate. And sometimes, especially this time of year when the house stays cooler, it is winter time, you have to stir it again um, because the oil tends to rise to the surface and tries to get, um, I don't know the word, coagulated again. But anyway, hey look, I got through this. Got almost all of it in the jar. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna kinda of pat it down. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Need to pack it nice and firmly. This, by the way, is an old candle jar. A few months back, there was an advertisement on uh, Craigslist, and my partner went and picked up two boxes of, or I think they were maybe even four boxes, of used candle jars um, for $5. So, oh my gosh, it took me three days to get them all cleaned out, but I did, and I've had a ton of them. Of course, they're mostly all gone now because of my uh, craft sales and what, whatever. So anyway, that was just enough, well, a little bit more, to fill this jar. And this is gonna last me I want to know. I tend to use quite a bit of it, probably a month. And I've got my wonderful, wonderful homemade bath scrub or shower scrub. You can use it either place. It smells wonderful and it's so invigorating and it makes your skin, even old skin like mine, oh my gosh, my skin is so old. It even makes skin like mine uh, nice and soft. So there you go. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe and hit that like button and share with your friends if you found this to be a helpful way of making homemade bath scrub and saving a whole bunch of money. Thanks. Bye.